Well, it took me over an hour to get up in this nasty, nasty tree and remain quiet, but there is no place that I would rather be on September 14th, 2019. Opening day in Wisconsin, I'm on public land, and I'm chasing the biggest whitetail that I've ever personally laid my eyes on or gotten trail camera pictures of. I've probably mentioned him multiple times in this video by now. I'm calling him Stinger. And all we can do now is trust my scouting, trust my trail cameras, and hope that he shows up. So stay tuned. Welcome to the 2019 season of Bowhunter 24-7. All right, guys. Today is Friday, September the 20th.
Oh, swing and a miss, but I got my arrow back at least. This kayak is about 180 pounds lighter than it should be right now. All right guys, it was less than 36 hours ago that dad and I got home from Nebraska. Took yesterday, I went to class, spent the afternoon getting all the gear reorganized, took care of my deer, got everything cleaned up. Now we got the van reloaded, ready to rock. We're going to Western Wisconsin for a couple days. Let's go. All right guys, I'm settled into my Walmart parking spot for these. It's running blind in the dark. That usually doesn't end well. Start to lose track of what day it is. December the 3rd, second day of muscle boars. Today is Wednesday, December the 18th. December 19th today. January the 3rd, I believe. Today is January the 4th. It's Wednesday, January the 8th. January 14th. January the 16th, it is 3.30 in the morning, and it is about negative 15 degrees outside with the wind chill. 3.30 in the morning, January 18th. Monday, January the 20th. All right guys, Friday, January the 24th. We got one week left to get it done. just driving around basically road scouting fields I look up on this big public ridge and with the snow on the ground you can see pretty easily because they're steep I spot a deer on public pull the binos up ends up being like he's a nice two and a half year old buck like I'm not looking for anything special right now and he's on public he just went into this draw where I can put a move on but there's two other does now that are on the ridge where he was that are kind of watching me, so I gotta move slow. I gotta try to relocate this buck too.
had five minutes left and I was gonna back up and I was gonna ditch before I spooked him and all of a sudden I look up on the hill and he's going Well guys, it's like an hour after I shot him. I saw my arrow fall out about 50 yards after impact. So I figured it wouldn't hurt anything to go grab the arrow and see what happened. And uh, the shoulder. Somewhere with a lot of bone, not a lot of penetration. I'm gonna give him overnight back and take up his tracks in the morning there wasn't a lot of blood at all I think I'm calling it a year after this one regardless of the outcome Well guys, I'm sitting on this hillside, taking a lunch break, and uh, I'm about ready to say that this deer's healthy, he's going to make it. After that third bed, I've gone a half mile now, up and down a big valley, and uh, there's been literally no blood, just tracks after that third bed. Looked like he laid there a while, probably got himself feeling healthy and then got up and he's been walking with this other deer now like I said up and down a valley for about a half mile no blood whatsoever he seems to be walking pretty healthy <clears throat> now I'm just reflecting on my season you know this ground hunting thing spot and stalking I don't know, however you go about it. It's by far the most exciting way to hunt, and that's why I'm doing it more often, because I love it. But I've heard Jared Scheffler say a lot of times, you know, your success rate doesn't necessarily go up, but your opportunity rate does. And uh, that's pretty much the story of this season for me, at least in Wisconsin. In Nebraska, everything worked out absolutely perfect. But in Wisconsin, it was just missed opportunity after missed opportunity, it seemed like. I think I'll stick in this area until the sun goes down tonight, but I'll just be buzzing around on the roads, checking all the fields, seeing if I can locate him. Chances are he's over here in some of these private fields where my dad saw a bunch of deer last night while I was making this stock happen. <laughs> good year a lot of my friends had good years put some of their nicest bucks on the ground and that's it thanks for watching bull hunter 24 7